another family member that would like to add some comments. Patricia Hendrickson Boyd, brother of Michael Hendrickson. Good morning and thank you so much. Uh, it's going to be hard to <laughs> say what you did. You, you gave us stunning um, remarks and I appreciate, I know all of us do. And um, I am honored to represent my family, my siblings and their spouses here today. Uh, Mary Hendrickson, Paula Hendrickson is not here, Ruth Hendrickson, and Diane Hendrickson, Ruth Hendrickson, and Whitney White. We thank you, we all thank you, for allowing us to participate in this memorial service for all those Marines. We also wish to thank the committee who worked so hard to put this together, and especially Colonel Dennis Mirza. We appreciate your wonderful hospitality and kindness. The Marines are the most wonderful and kind service members that I have ever been exposed to. I have met them on soccer fields, airports, and friends events. And I think of Mike every time. It just makes my heart warm to see these wonderful people in their other life. But this memorial means so much to my siblings and myself. 1968 was a year that changed our family forever. He was scheduled to leave Vietnam within 10 days. Our mother said he was golden, and we were so excited to have him back. He even agreed in a letter to me that he would walk me down the aisle for my upcoming marriage. And he even said he had a set of china, so I was gonna just be so delighted. But let me back up just a minute and I'll try not to be too long. Mike and I grew up in the Montana, North Dakota area and uh, we had a very, very uh, close relationship. We were only three years apart. Uh, my siblings are a little further down the line and so they know them in different ways. So um, I just uh, can't believe that this has happened. We attended Catholic schools and it was not well accepted. No bus for us. So we walked through snow, more snow, sun and rain. As I was viewing the museum last night, it struck me how much I could see Mike in these battle scenes, airplanes, because he was a risk taker and I can see now why he enjoyed it so much. When you're outside of that type of environment, it really, it made me feel very happy to know that he was doing what he wanted to. And in high school, he was an excellent student. He was only one of four delegates chosen to represent Boys State, which is a very big honor in our state of Montana. They went to the Capitol in Helena. Upon graduation from high school, he followed me into the religious life by joining the Marion All Missionaries. He wanted to help others, so by joining the foreign missions of Marion All, he felt this to be the best order to meet that goal. He decided to leave after completing his degrees in philosophy and education within five years. In Boston, he helped with the civil rights activities and naturally it was the Marines. He knew he would be drafted as I picked him up from the seminary. So he had it all planned out that he wanted to serve this country and as much as we tried to talk him out of it, he would not, he would not listen to us. But, so he made the choice of the Marines and he was delighted to serve and his dream as he went overseas, he said to me, I am coming back to MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. That was his dream to go there for some reason. And in closing, I have to say that Mike was one of the finest human beings that I have ever known. Yes, he was our brother, our friend, and our role 
for all those that followed him and the family. We miss him every day. He is in our hearts as we go through life without him.